All right, guys, back at it. I uh, got the old truck loaded up. I got my big cooler, got my rods, everything I need for a day and a half trip. This time we're going on the new low end. I got to pick up Johnny and then pick up my brother in Phoenix and then we're going to shoot up to San Diego. So stay tuned. Uh, the reports have been good. It's on and cracking. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll get on them and get some cool footages. So uh, stay tuned. We just made it to Jay Wynn's place here. I'm going to load up and get rocking. Walter! What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, he's in the street. Taking everything here, Johnny? Yeah, I'll grab it. Hold on a second. This is how we're all packed. We're all ready. Lock and loaded. Ready to roll. Boom. Ready? I think we're good, mister. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Got to drop off Walter in Phoenix. All right, we're meeting uh, Johnny's um, dog sitter here. Let's in get this pig. Eli. We got him. We're going to hand off the child there. Hand, hand, hand off the javelina. All right, Walter. See you later, dude. All right, we're here at the Love, just waiting on Ty. He's about ten minutes behind. Ten minutes behind us. So pro bass fishermen uh, coming. Yep. So Johnny got this new rig right here. We said this is what you need. You need these to cinch your line down. Look! Look how! Look at that. So how? How does that work? So it's two metal things. You're gonna take your leader, floral, and your braid. You're gonna wrap it around this, and then you're gonna be able to pull it huh. down tight. You know how like usually you probably wrap it around your hand, put like a little yeah. glove on, or like pull your hoodie, and then you, you know so it doesn't squint your arm. But yeah. so like I mean, look how tight that pulled. And where, so where did you where did you find that? Amazon. Amazon. Legit. Then we got you know all of our number two hooks. Yeah, what's underneath that thing? Is it jigs? Oh, we got, oh, we got. Oh, that's just your terminal box. Yeah, we got uh, weights down there. Oh, do you have any extra six? Uh, we have to buy some sixes. Six sixes? Yeah, this is a five. So I got eight. Damn, Gina, this one must weigh like twenty pounds. It was better than that plano box I had. Just don't, don't use the, the hybrid one. No. These are only good for like mahi mahi, dude. Mm. But check this one out. Super mm. mean too, dude. Dude, they recommend us down on the last trip. That's why I bought that. Yeah, I mean the sardine is. How does how does fit? This looks like you use it for a mackerel. Maybe, dude. Look Damn. how big that is, dude. Dude, twenty bucks. I know. Shoot, nineteen dollars. Man. Uh, check check out the tuna jerky that John, Johnny. The tuna. Tuna, dude. Is it good? Really? Tastes like beef. <laughs> it's good. Show the camera, huh? Show the camera, Ty. It's good. Tastes like beef. I thought it was beef. It's pretty good. Pretty yeah. bomb. Bomb.com. Oh, I'm doing all the driving here. Johnny's back there sleeping. My brother's doing a little filming. Hours? Probably another hour and a half. What's the cost for us to do this uh, trip? Uh, the cost, I don't know. I think Johnny kind of cheated me and told me a little bit higher, so his would be lower. But uh, mine is what, 800 bucks, 900? 800, $700. Yeah. You told me 900. I didn't tell you 900. Oh, because my brother's here, he's going to tell me a lower I told number. You 700. $700 a ticket. This is all in counting the surcharges and if there's any meals. Yeah. So, I mean, for, for a day and a half, 16 people on the boat, on the new low end, so I'm kind of excited about that. We haven't been on a boat, we haven't been on the new low end yet. None of us have, right? Mm -hmm. So. Supposed to be a, uh, that's, a, that's a good boat to get on. Ty's uh, first time on a tuna boat? Yeah, my personal best is a striper, 28 pounds at the Delta. My goal is a 40 pounder. These guys are saying, oh, that should be pretty easy. But last time they tricked me into coming, had a horrible day too. Uh, only caught one mahi and it was the smallest one out of the whole entire boat. So hopefully the, I'm gonna go out here and redeem myself, catch a tuna, never caught a tuna before, pretty excited. Uh, all the reports are coming in good, but I got the feeling that when I get there, everybody's gonna be like, man, it was popping last week. 
as far as popping, or you guys should have been here last week, or oh uh, man, we're you're, you know you're a week late. It's always my luck. Well, the current, the current ain't moving today. Or, yeah, right? yeah. The moon ain't the we moon ain't too right. Many cooler. That's bad luck. Yeah. So you no. Know, did you bring any bananas this time? No bananas. We are, we are bananas. So yeah, last time Johnny bought a banana in my boat at Havasu. I blanked. I never blank at Havasu. I blank, and then he mark hops on. Marcos' boat and what happened to his motor? The motor blew up. The motor blew up. So if you guys don't believe whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. After that, he jumped, on, he jumped on Randy C Note's boat and his transmission went out <laughs> on the way to Lake Amistad. Uh, so. And look, we're all here bad now. Bad luck, man. Bad, bad luck. luck. So, anyway, it should be a good trip either way. Um, hopefully, we can just get on them. We could have moved keys, man. California, look at this. Renewable, dude. Alrighty, we're here. If you guys follow my channel, you know we always start here at the pho shop. Let me get some food before we jump on the boat. <laughs> I think I might try to go thumb that big this time. Pollen's on top of it, and then no, it clears. Up. It it, it Dang, Ty, what did you get, man? Noon to noon. Noon to noon. I got the rice platter with the egg and uh, shrimp pork. Ooh. How they cook your egg? Perfect. Yeah, that's good. Take some of this meat mum here. Drizzle it over the rice. Nice guys. A little bit of pork. Mmm, pretty good. Put the egg. Smother it on the rice. Oh, they gave me two eggs. So, three meals cost us $55.92. That's respectable. Very respectable. My food was good. How's yours, Ty? Good. Yours, Johnny? Obviously good. Tastes, Ate like, it all. tastes like rabbit meat. Mine was really good, so definitely uh, worth the stop here. It's only like <laughs> 70 degrees over here. Oh. <clears throat> We're here, baby. So I'll go, I'll go grab some cut. Sweet, 95, right in front of the landing. Call Vu. Call yeah, we actually have this rule. The richer guy pays for everything, so he's been paying the, for dinner, the, the gas. Guy, the guy's in the guy that's in the most debt pays. We've got the best parking spot right here. Ooh, I'm gonna remove that hitch dude just in case. I've been taking we all own our own. Too efficient. Dude, they call this the Iron Man, dude. Color. That one? What is that one? 500? This is 500, yeah. The polka dot one is the hardest to find. What? No, I'm telling you, we bass fishing, dude. Go to Saguaro. Imagine ripping that through the grass, Ty, at Saguaro. Whatever. <laughs> dude. Still no polka dots, sir. Hmm? Still no polka dots. Dude, get the Mexican one. I like this one. I I, I think I bought one of those. Nam huh? I think it's because it has the, the stinger hooks on it. Turn, turn. Easy. Alrighty, guys, we are taking off. Hopefully, we'll be in the tuna grounds in about a few hours. Everybody's here just rigging up. At the start of every trip, we get sardines.
class service, service, man. Look at this. Bam. We got our charcuterie board. Kyrie, what are you calling this thing? What kind of presentation is this? It ain't fair to say charcuterie, bro. That's just me. Come on, man. That's some meat and cheese. Meat and cheese. Come on. Meat and cheese. Meat and cheese, please. Meat and cheese is a steak with Chappelle. I feel you. Okay. Terrible angle. You can get over here. All right, hold the rod, right? Yeah, hold the rod, right? Yeah, Uncle Ty is right. on him. Uncle Ty is on him. It's his first tuna. This is his first yeah, one. He's gonna eat the heart. Ty. He's gonna eat the heart? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. You got a bunch of them right there. Taught him everything he knows. All three things. <laughs> on the new low end, baby. Ain't making a towel. We gotta, we gotta break. Look at the sweat, dude. Come on, look at <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, get a towel. He's sweating, dude. Come on. Oh, this is a yeah. Let's see color. What size line you have? Thirty. Yeah. Probably go a little more, guys. Yeah. See it? He's coming. He's ready. He's ready to die. There it is. Leave it on. And what's about to keep doing what you've been doing? That's okay. Get it, Ty. Uh, okay. Take it yeah, easy. Guys. See that right little spot there. Right here. Right here. Okay. Nice one. Right, a couple more ready. Couple more laps. everybody always gave me is like you got to pick a lively one i didn't really understand it he explained it oh, as oh, dude, pick the aware one this thing. What? Oh, oh, get it on the video oh, oh, what was that? somebody broke off or yeah it? somebody broke off on this thing nice. i think that was mine <laughs> nice job Ty. wow oh the hook rusted off wait hey Duh. so he explained it as somebody uh uh, look for a, um, a sardine that's aware and what right when he said that I understood because you're, you're looking for the ones that are like looking around and then uh, I hooked them in the tail show me how and then I threw it out there wasn't swimming down uh, the other deck can was like you know uh, yank on the line tap them in the butt so as soon as I tapped him swam straight down just let line out line out and then also it oh. took off Yes. Nobody's getting for you, Ty. The heart. <laughs> there it is. Get it up, dude. You swallow, right? You swallow it. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> All right, look, still beating. I want that one up for you, bro.
Breakfast of Champions. Chow down. Oh, this is a blueberry pancake. Oh, yes. Mmm. A little bit of bacon. It's delicious, man. Damn. Hey, let's go, baby. Mm. Oh, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no fried rice. This is nice. I'm telling you, man, I, I want. It's this not the best. best. This is way better than Fruit Loops. I know. I told you. <laughs> Boat just stopped and there's fish out there. There it is, high number two. Good job, Tom. Yeah. Got your limit. Got a little hanging right here. Just how big? About the same size earlier. Got bit. <laughs> well, there's there's a bunch shooting. Oh, boil! There's a bunch of shit gathered up on the bow right here. No, like like boats. I mean, little fish. They'll dart out this way. Those are sardines. The ones we're chumming. They go in a boat, hide, and then shoot yeah, out. That's oh. why belly hook bay on the bow is good. Oh. If they come see how that one ate one of those ones. That shot I thought you guys out. were releasing, releasing out front or something. Oh no, that's the way we drift. Both of you guys get together. You have to come down. Both of you guys start coming down here. Oh, coming down. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, hot guys, coming down. Turn the handle. Turn the handle. Yellow. Yeah. Neutral. Wow, look at this. Boom. Nice lob. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh! Bite him! Pull your line down here, bro. Hold on, hold on, walk down oh, here, brother. Oh. We're talking about this. Mm -hmm. Not that fun on the spinning rod, huh? Huh? 
It's not that fun on the spinning rod. I like it. Really? Yeah. Baby, let's get in the boat, baby. Okay, one more circle. Be good. There it is. We're not doing good. Boom, thank you so much. Whew. Spinning rod, 65 bucks. Thank you. Here it is, guys. I think this is a blue fin, right? Or is this yellow fin? Is this a yellow fin or a blue fin? It's an albacore. Can I see how long it's gonna be? Uh-huh. It's an albacore. I'm just kidding, it's a yellow fin. Oh, yeah? Now he's blue fin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Watch out. I think I got a bite. It's peeling. Or no. Is that peeling? Fish or it's gotta be a fish. I can't feel anything. Fire! I just wanted to make sure.
they haven't been very big probably 30 40 pounders all morning so okay now i'm at my uh leader got 100 feet left oh maybe not maybe not sorry go underneath you You know, 100 feet left. Let's go. He's tired. I'm gonna get him. Headshot, headshot, boom! Thank you so much. Boom. Coolers locked and loaded, ready to go. Ready? One, two. Harder than anybody I've ever seen. There will. Don't fucking stop. Any gain you can. That's what I learned from Gary this year. You gotta make them try. See that little one fit in here? Uh, oh yeah. Show us his mouth. Hmm? Roar! Oh yeah, like a glove. Thirteen. Didn't, didn't even need the body bag. Can I pet your dog? I have a, hi buddy, sorry. I have a little guy named Walter. What's his name? Uh, her name is Nene. Nene, oh my gosh, you're so spooky. Hello. <laughs> How old is Nene? Uh, she's only eight months. Oh my, she's so stocky. Yeah. Oh my gosh. See, all right, so we're driving back from San Diego. Johnny, uh, Johnny's back there chilling, he's always, He's always chilling. He's kind of sleep. We're not going to let him sleep. Yeah. So every time he closes his eyes, we're going to talk to him. Anyway, uh, ended up with Johnny Scott 4, Luz Scott 4, and uh, I'm not going to brag or anything. I already knew I was going to catch the most at 5. <laughs> you, you had the most, you had the couple break-offs, yep, right? Yep, had uh, break some break-offs. Uh, the, I can think of Give us your tidbits on what you second. learned, Ty. Give us your top five tidbits. Uh, the biggest thing I learned was just how to pick out a sardine. You might not think that that's a big deal, but you know, how I was explained 
was to catch the most lively one. Well, they all seem alive, so that didn't really help me. Um, they, you know, I knew not to pick the ones with the red dots, you know, the one that looked sick. But uh, anyway, the deckhand explained it to me, look for the one that's most aware. And when he told me that, it like clicked. I mean, I was looking for the one that, you know, was swimming around hitting walls. I'll make a U-turn before he ran into the wall. Uh, those are the best ones, the most lively ones. When you hook those, they just either swim straight down or straight out and they keep going until they get bit. Uh, other than that, just um, mainly how to hold a rod. I didn't know how to hold a rod, so when I caught the first one, I mean, it really kicked my butt. Just trying to be, uh, trying to hold the rod, fighting the rod more than the fish. And then the, the night fishing deal. I mean, I got two bites, lost one right at the gaff. Cool, neat story. I, you know, caught, there was like, what, six guys that are wrapped up with me, unfortunately. And uh, when, when he gaffed it, it broke my line. But my jig wrapped around somebody else's line, and then he caught a fish, and we got the fish and the jig back. So that was pretty neat. Also, the first bluefin tuna I caught had a triple hook in it. Uh, I guess these guys are saying that's pretty rare. That was pretty neat. But other than that, my goal was to catch about a 40 pounder. I think I did just that. And uh, man, I couldn't imagine catching anything bigger because that 40 pounder like absolutely dogged me, kicked my butt. And there was, uh, you know, right when I think the fight's over, he runs out there and I gotta fight him all over again. I'm like super sore. I was cramping. Um, yeah, I'm pretty beat up right now. So I can see why you guys like it. Dude, it was an amazing trip, man. So when I first started uh, tuna fishing, everybody, you know, on these forums are talk is talking about getting on the new Loan, and that was like kind of the boat to be on, and they had a really good reputation, and you know, the crew was super nice, the captain, everything was top notch. Uh, I really like it. You know, I'm pretty lucky to be invited to go on one of these trips. So, you know, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, more videos to come. Please smash the like, subscribe button. Really helped me out a lot. You know, some of these videos getting 10, 13,000 views, but I need that 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 subscribe button. So, help a brother out. See you guys in the next one.